Okay, we're going to talk about measuring in the international system or the metric system real quick. In general, remember that recording measurements, a measurement must always include a value, it must always include units, and it always involves a little uncertainty. Um, our tools are not uh, infinitely precise. So a measurement is going to be our best estimate of a value. Keep that in mind. Significant digits um, are something that scientists and engineers use to indicate the uncertainty of a measurement. So significant digits are digits um, in a decimal number that carry meaning. Um, all digits you record are considered significant. Um, include all the certain digits in a measurement and one uncertain or estimated digit. This is the key here. So when we look at measuring on a ruler, we're going to kind of read the ruler and be as certain as we can, and then we're going to estimate one value of uncertainty. Okay? If you had a digital instrument, which we're not using today, you would read and record all the digits. Um, we have a scaled instrument, like a ruler. We're going to record all the digits that you can, um, and then we're going to estimate one more. Okay, so we're going to work on this side of the world right here, the top side, which is the um, metric side or the international system. It is our centimeters and meters, which very nice. It's um, broken into everything's broken into tenths, base ten, so it works with our number system, our decimals being all base ten. Okay, so uh, a centimeter generally is broken into uh, smaller increments called millimeters, which are, are going to be the smallest scale on your typical ruler. A um, little bit longer lines help you find kind of a half a centimeter or five millimeters just visually. Those stand out. And the whole centimeters then being the longest. So what we want to do is determine how long this bar is. And like we said, we want to read as much certainty as we can and then estimate one value of uncertainty. So we can see this is between the three and the four. We can see it's, it's actually more than three and a half. Let's zoom in a little bit. And... It is between, this is 3.8 and 3.9. You can pause the video if you need, if I'm going too fast ever, and kind of count for yourself. But there's the 5, 6, 7, 8. There's the 9. Um, so zooming in, we're between the 3.8 and the 3.9. So we know that it's 3.8 something. We are certain that it's going to be a little more than 3.8. It's not going to be as big as 3.9. So we estimate that value here. And this has been estimated to be 3.84. You just have to visually imagine that, you know, that's been scaled into tenths again. Okay, and how many little tenth marks would it take, you know, or where would that be? Um, you Make sure you realize that if we used a 5, that would communicate that we think we're halfway. So this person thought that they were just under halfway from 3.8 to 3.9. Okay, look at one more real quick. Okay, so this one we're going to zoom in. But you can see you're bigger than six, um, less than six and a half. Oh, they gave you the answer too fast. Okay, let's look. So here's six one, here's six two, here's six three, here's six four. We're not that big as six four, but we are bigger than six three. Okay, and so this person estimated that six point three three. It looks like you're not quite halfway. Again, if we said six point three five, you would say you would think you're exactly halfway between six three and six four. Okay, so we're going to have you retry the problems that we did kind of for a second check and see if we get um, better results now that we see that we're going to estimate really for centimeters. You're going to have two decimal places. Um, I will note one thing. If you think that this line, your best estimate is that it was exactly on one of these tenth marks. Okay, like what if you thought this lined up exactly with 6.3? What would I write? Well, I would say certainly it's 6.3. And then my best estimate is that it is exactly on 6.3. So I would put a zero to say it's not a little bigger. Um, so I would actually still have the same number of decimal points. And that would still be a significant digit because um, while mathematically we think of 6.3 being equal to 6.30, the zero must be there for a reason. And the significance is that we're communicating to the reader of our, our measurement, our value, that we estimated down to... Um, you know, that place value down to the hundreds. So we didn't estimate or round to the nearest tenth. We actually were going to the hundred. So if you had one that you wrote 6.30, right, we're communicating not just a value, but how precise we were attempting to be.